The interior of Jabba's sail barge had a lot of interesting decorative touches that we can only barely see in the film, such as this Gamorrean guard head over a doorway. I guess it's meant to be a statue and not a taxidermied head, but it's still kind of weird, right? Same thing with this Ishi Tib head. There's at least one Ishi Tib alien on the sail barge, so you have to wonder what they thought about it. And then there were the Rancor-themed items. It's easy to miss them, even if you're paying attention, but these decorations appear to be based on the Rancor's arms, and way in the back, partially obscured by a pillar, is a corbel in the shape of the Rancor. A corbel is a piece of stone, wood, or metal that juts away from a wall to support the structure above it, and they're often decorated in various ways. You can only just barely make it out in the film, of course, but originally this piece would have been a bit more prominent. Based on some behind-the-scenes photos, the corbel would have been in the background of a deleted and presumably lost scene where Yakface and Riyiz had an argument. Here's a Polaroid photo of the prop that was used during the production of the film, so you can get a little bit better look at it. I wouldn't blame you if you've never heard of this and had no idea that it existed. In fact, I don't think I knew about it until Hasbro's Sail Barge toy came out uh, two, three years ago, and they actually included it in the Sail Barge there. You can see it right here. And you can also make out the uh, Rancor arms there. But uh, yeah, they actually probably were the first collectible to include this corbel in any form. But today we're going to be talking about something brand new that has just been created for this very obscure architectural detail on Jabba's sail barge, which, as you might imagine, makes it right up my alley. This is, of course, by our friends at Regal Robot. What they've sent me is a magnet in the shape of the corbel, but they've also created um, another larger item, which we'll talk about in just a second here. But let's look at this first of all. There's just something really cool about the way this looks. I like the style a lot. You can see up at the top, they've started with a basically realistic looking Rancor. And then as it goes down to the bottom, it kind of becomes more flowy and uh, abstract until we finally come to these curved portions at the bottom that look like they could be on any architectural corbel. And of course we have the magnet there embedded in the back. In terms of the paint job, I think they did a fantastic job as usual. It really does look like metal, even though it's resin. It's difficult for me to say how it compares to the actual prop since we can barely see it in the film. And of course that Polaroid I showed you is kind of all washed out because it was taken with a flash. But uh, Tom Spina's team actually had access to the actual piece in the archives and so presumably were able to check what it looked like when they were scanning it and copy that. The original prop, by the way, was apparently six or seven feet tall, so it must be really impressive in person. Speaking of impressive things, that magnet is five inches tall, but they're also releasing an 18 inch tall version as wall decor, and that's going to be uh, quite impressive, I think, in person. I haven't seen it, and uh, I don't honestly have the wall space to display one, but I am still pretty tempted. Finally, I thought it might be interesting to do a sort of comparison of all of my Regal Robot magnets. We have here the regular Rancor, the Tauntaun head, the uh, Rancor pit control with separate skull magnet, the Rancor head from Boba Fett's throne in Book of Boba Fett, and finally we have the Jabba's throne gargoyle uh, magnet. So yeah, pretty cool little collection I've got here now. The Rancor Magnet will be retailing for $29.99, and the larger Rancor Corbel wall decor piece will be retailing for $249, both of which are available on the Regal Robot website, link in the video description. Thanks for watching! As usual, this video is brought to you with the help of my patrons from Patreon, including these Palace VIPs and Angelica Brady. I really appreciate your support, and if you'd like to see how you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month, check out the link in the video description.